Hello, welcome back. Now I'm going to run this script number five here, a combination of not that as a student request. I uh, tip it up so for Python. All right. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a script in Python. That what I'm going to copy. Okay, and I'm going to pin Yahoo there. Remember there is a space, and there is a space, and there is a space. Okay. And if you know Python more than me, I believe that you know what it is, right? Okay, that's what I got to copy into my script. And then when I'm done, I'm going to put input this script into cron tag. A cron tag. And then I run them every three minutes. Okay, so first I'm going to make my script here. And I have that script already. And now I'll show you. Just copy and paste as you know. Uh, nano pin and then that what I put in there. Okay, no line there. Okay, make sure there's no line. So that what I got to put in there. You can reply this if you want to to any side. But remember, at the moment, if you have a laptop, we work in this lab, or you can work at home because right now you're behind the proxy. Unless you want to get the output, you have to enable the proxy in the text mode, which is I have one of the capture of that already. All right, and now. I uh, have the script done, yeah? And how to do this, you got to learn how to do that in Python. A simple script. So basically, a ping command, a host site, and a count two packets only, alright? Capture only two packets. Then I'm save them. Where is the script? The script is here, okay? So basically, basically you have to input on the along the way using absolute path. So the script will be root slash uh, week three slash ping dot py. Yeah? That is that is script. And I want the data. The data file will be in this folder as well for the output. So I have the script done. I test them already. Okay, to test the script, you can run that to test. One, two, done. So two script, uh, two line, right? One line and two line there, and that output also go into your, also go into your um, your new data. Okay, so that much of output every time they send into the data file, yeah. Uh, every three minutes. First, I check the date. Date now it is 12 August at the time there, 47 uh, 10, 11 10, 47 minutes, uh, second there. So every three minutes. So now I'm going to cron tab, then, oh sorry, cron tab dash E, okay, dash E. And if you want to know further for the cron tab, I'll show you later on, but I just complete this first. Cron tab dash space, right, there is a space there, dash E for edit. So I have that, that one already, again, you are in VI by default, okay, VI, that's the reason why you have to know VI. So I for insert, I have that line there already, so that every three minutes. Every minutes, every two minutes, and now, okay, I do every two minutes, make things quicker, yeah, for this capture. And all of this option, I'll show you just in a moment. And then five field, one, two, three, four, and this five. Each of the field, space, there is a, a space bar. Another space, okay, first, where is the script? Is that the script location? And you know that option already? Append, okay? Not overwrite. And then space again, and there is the output. The output will be going to root week three, and the new data file will be created. All right, don't worry about these two. These two are test later on. Okay, that's in per. Uh, per. If you want to do, I do per as well, if you want to. Uh, then now, my script is done, yeah? And my Contact, contact is done for every two minutes. Escape here, select insert, escape, view in mode, right quick together. Okay, done. So all I got to do now, from now, from now, right? So I can't come back at uh, what is that? At 13, right? Uh, 14.44. There is a new file created right here. They call data. Are you following me? So all I got to do now, I got to wait for two minutes, and then the new data will come out. All right, now I believe the time is about to be right. 44, not yet. 
1444. I believe 1444 will come out. There we go. So 14, what do I say before? The data, new data come out. You got to and have, have a look at the sign. At the moment, it's 411, right? Two minutes later, we double up that and double, double, no, sorry, keep add on 411 later. Okay, have a look at the sign. I can't come back there in two minutes later. You can, and now have a look at the data. That's the data. See that? So whatever output from that command, it's stay in the bit file. Because we do a pen, right? So I keep add, add, add at the bottom. It's the same thing when you work on the cloud system or any other automation for backup. You run the script at nine time, it let it run by itself. When it finishes, it terminates by itself. Okay, a certain time, a certain time. Or you can do backup database for every Friday. Hit the rather proper script, run SQL dump like my SQL, dump into and zip them, put the password there, no one going there. And after zip, move to a new folder and send to the cloud. So a couple of tasks in just a couple of command lines only. I guess that is for me. And I, again, I can come back two minutes later. This side will be double, the side will double, and the script will double too. So that's August 12th. We wait for another another few minutes. So it should be 16 something, right? 1614, yeah? 1614, you will have a new 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 data at the end of this file. I keep a pen, a pen. So that's how we, 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 we view out. And if you want to view your cron tab, dash L. Right, dash L. And then you see what is in there. That's the line, we put it there. That's it, the line. So this folder, you don't have to follow me. If you want, you don't want to put in that folder, you put somewhere else. Yeah? So before you do that, make sure you, you have to test your script and test one at a time. Yeah? All right, have a look at the time. Is that up yet? Yeah, now it should be the new site. There we go, the site is different. And the data, see that now it's two, two more lines. So that one more line, and now the second line, ping whatever there. Okay, so that's my script, but now I have to stop them. Otherwise, if I turn on my Linux, it keeps running and running and run forever. So I have to stop them, right? So Chrome tab dash E. Modify the content. I for insert, and then I put a a, a pal sign in the front to terminate that command. All right, escape, save. Okay, for cron tab, what do you do? You can do main cron tab, and see what it there. There we go. Day time and all of this. That how to view them. And I go to Google to find the better better. Uh, many for you, right? Okay, I have this basic content on Wikipedia. You can have a look there. So that how you can view, okay? See the first value, right? The first value, the five, right? One, two, three, four, five, and the command. You see that that command to execute it. So basically, in here, you can check our command here, uh, cron tab dash L, right? There we go. And then now you can compare. That field there, remember at the moment I terminate. So field number one, two, three, four, five. The first one is day of the week. Sorry, the last one, day of the week. Month, one to twelve. Day of the month hour and minutes so the first one i do is every three minutes that's how i do the hash at the start and then divide by the number of minutes and then you can run here that's it that you can run whatever one you want okay so that's it for me for the cron tab and some basic automation for week number three ladies and gentlemen best of luck bye for now